pastor recently, talking to a taxi driver. He was Greek. We got to talking. I'll tell you what we said, but uh, I'll translate. Otherwise. <laughs> the point, let's bet, right? <laughs> so now, how long have you been in Britain for? He went to be here for four years. How about you? I'm like, I've been here for 15. Do you like it here? And he went, no, it's shit. <laughs> so I was like, ah, oh, it's own cunt. What's your problem with Britain? He went, I'll tell you what, I think the measure of any country is in the culture. And I think the culture is defined by the cuisine. What kind of food do they have here that they can call British? They don't even fucking know themselves. What is it? Italian, Greek, Chinese, Japanese, Mexican, Chinese, fucking Indian, chicken tikka masala? What is it? They don't even know themselves. All they do is they go out and they drink and they drink and they drink and they drink. And they carry on drinking in bars and pubs with their friends. And they take the same friends and they go in nightclubs where it's so loud you can't even have a fucking conversation with your friends. And at the end of the night, they have nameless and faceless and emotionless sex with strangers that they regret the next day. Do you like that kind of shit? And I was like, mate, you have just described everything I love. <laughs> I mean, Britain used to be great about the, for the industry. Now it's the fingering. And good are you guys, you know? <laughs> nice one. Like, and I like, like, let's rewind what this guy says. Because seriously, it sounds like a fucking epic night to me, doesn't it? Let's rewind. You go out with your friends and have food from any country in the world at your fingertips. That's good, isn't it? And you can take the same friends, you go to a nightclub, like have a, like a few drinks, and then stay in the nightclub where it's so loud, you don't even have to talk to these boring cunts. <laughs> And are you seriously telling me at the end of the night someone might be kind enough to want to have sex with me? <laughs> and I turned to him and I said something I never expected to tell another foreign person in my life, which was the following. Look, mate, if you don't like it, go the fuck back where you came from. <laughs> which, let's be honest, we're all fucking thinking it, right? <laughs> I mean, you can never say this, but I can, you know, and you know what, it felt great. I can totally see why racism is popular, because when I said it, it felt really warm inside, guys. <laughs> I think I'm ready for the EDL now. <laughs> <laughs>